Well, Bridget Glanville has been on the campaign trail. She joins me now in the studio. Bridget, it's that time when we find out how much all the polly's promises are going to cost. Um, so what's the result? Who's spending the most? Yes, well, the Parliamentary Budget Office says that under Labor, if it was in power, the surpluses would actually increase by $1.4 billion over the next four years. And under the government, the surpluses will actually fall by about $700 million. Now, how this is going to happen is that Labor's saying, well, it's going to increase revenue. And the Liberal says, well, yes, they're going to increase revenue, but you have to look at how they're going to do it. And the Liberals say that Labor are going to do this by increasing taxes. We already know that there's going to be a luxury car and boat tax. Um, those taxes are going up by about a billion dollars. And also Labor's going to cancel a number of key projects that the government has in place, infrastructure projects. We know that they've already said they don't want to do the Western Harbour Tunnel, Northern Beaches Link, the F3, F6 extension rather, and the South West Metro. So both sides say that you can't trust each other. Oh, what a surprise. <laughs> now, there have been some developments late today in that story about um, Michael Daly and a speeding fine, which it's been claimed he or his staff tried to transfer into his wife's name. Yes. So police have confirmed that they're interviewing staff in the Finance Minister Victor Dominello's office. And this is in regards to these possible leaks of private information that came out about members of the public and also Michael Daly's wife. Now, at the time, Michael Daly complained that some personal information came out about his wife and a speeding fine back from 2017. He said it was a breach of privacy and reported it to the police. Now, the ABC understands that six staff from Victor Domino's office have been interviewed by officers from the Financial Crime Squad and they're investigating this and it should be noted that Victor Dominello, the Finance Minister, has not been interviewed. Bridget Glanville, thank you.